Welcome back everyone. In this video, we're going to show you how to do the most time intensive part of the installation, molding ExoShield, also commonly referred to as shrinking or forming. Our master trainer Lawrence is going to walk you through everything you'll need to know from which heat gun to use to how to ensure you're not overstressing the film and everything in between. When you first start with ExoShield, practice the molding process without worrying about the installation steps. Understanding how the film molds is essential to being successful with ExoShield. With that being said, Lawrence is going to walk us through the process he uses to mold ExoShield. Many people always ask in training, where do I start? And I used to teach, well, I'll start from the middle and work towards yourself. And, and I never do that, so I don't teach that anymore. So I always go after just the biggest fingers. These are all about the same size, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, which finger I'm starting with. But again, what's important is I'm just getting some molding going. I'm going to push through once. Again, this card doesn't do anything. All it is going to do is show me what I just did with the heat gun. You cannot manipulate the film with this card. Um, all it does is show us what we did. So if I push through the finger, split it off, it'll show me what I did with the finger. The other thing this hard card does really well is push all the water out. So if you want to constantly use this hard card, all you're really doing is pushing water out. And again, this does nothing. The only thing that can manipulate the film is heat. So generally, uh, here are two different examples of heat guns. Both of these are basically high and low. Uh, this one doesn't have any type of temperature dial at all. This goes to 1100 degrees. Uh, this one does have a temperature dial, though it's, it's not digital, so it's not exact, so who actually knows? Uh, but I know where I like it. So generally, I always wanna uh, use anywhere between 950 and 1100 degrees of heat on the film. So I've used this heat gun enough, and I know what about where that dial should be. Uh, another thing that's real important with your heat gun is uh, your pressure coming out. Sometimes you buy um, inexpensive heat guns and they're barely pushing air out and that uh, doesn't help you at all. You, you want a good amount of pressure coming out because again, we're gonna put a lot of heat on a finger and get that heat away. Split that off. I also don't put a lot of pressure with this. That's how you end up creasing film is you're jamming the card through too hard, too fast. Just run your card through. When I get down to the bottom, I want to make sure I'm not creasing. The whole process is attack the biggest fingers and make them into smaller fingers and then just keep moving along that way with the goal being that I'm just going to make a bunch of little fingers and at that point, we're done. It's easy. The little fingers, all we have to do is hit the edge with the heat and knock them down. So if we mentally look at it, instead of thinking, oh, this is a huge finger, how am I gonna get this down and just keep working that section of film, trying to get that finger down. If you approach it with, if I just take these big fingers and make them a little bit smaller, then I take those little bit smaller fingers and shrink them, get some molding going on, run your car through them and make them two more smaller fingers. And we just keep moving along that way. That process will keep you from overheating the film from burning and all those kinds of things. And it, it actually, when you create a rhythm, it actually ends up being fairly quickly. Uh, that's a great shrink, great shape of that finger. So I might do this one more pass where I'm starting my molding from the center of the windshield working out and that's just I'm just getting a little bit of molding going on that's all I care about right now these fingers are too big to shrink down all in one go okay now I'm going to revert back to and then I'm at a 45 degree angle here and then I'm 
turn my gun perpendicular to the finger, to the film. Just kind of warming that outside edge, soften that edge. I'm not trying to close it off yet because there's still too much film here. Your first few installs are gonna take some time. So practice on a personal vehicle or a shop car to take away the stress from timelines and customer expectations while you're developing those skills. Remember, molding ExoShield is arguably the most difficult part of the process, but it all comes down to mindset. Be patient and keep moving. The goal is to go slow and steady to ensure you get it done right on one piece of film. Check out this link to watch Lawrence walk you through a full installation on a Tesla Model 3 in our advanced training course.